Hello Year 10, today we continue with um, speed, distance, and time calculations, but as I said yesterday, we're going to make it slightly more complicated. We're going to introduce some decimals. Um, it doesn't really matter if the distance has decimals, that's not really going to be the complicated part. The complicated part is with the time. Um, time with decimals makes a really, really big difference. So when we calculate with time, um, I'm just going to talk to you about it before we actually do some questions. For instance, um, the first question here says, write as a decimal. If they told us something took 7 hours and 15 minutes, the most common thing for people to say is that the time is 7.15. But 7.15 does not mean 7 hours and 15 minutes. It means something different than that. Um, what 7 hours and 15 minutes actually means is 7.25 hours. Now you might be wondering where the heck did she get 0.25 from when the first decimal said, or when the first part of the number said 1.5. Um, so we'll talk about that just uh, in a moment. So for instance, for the first example, it says 7 hours and 15 minutes and it becomes 7.25. And where the 0.25 came from is 15 um, minutes out of how many minutes are in one hour. In one hour is 60 minutes. Now, if you can be sensible, you can simplify this using what you know about factors. So 15 and 60, they both have 15 in common. Um, so we can divide that and that gives us 1 and 4. Last time I checked, one quarter is the same as 0 0.25, and that is where the 0.25 came from. Obviously, the 7 came from the 7 hours over there. So I would like you to make an attempt, wherever you can write this down, um, to do all of the first column. So could you write all of those hours and minutes as a decimal amount of hours? So for instance, part B, question B is going to be 3 hours and 45 minutes. So we're looking for 3 point something something. All right, so you go ahead and have a go at that. Um, you can pause the video now if you would like. Um, and if you don't want to pause the video now, you can also listen to the second half of this uh, starter. So the second one says, write in hours and minutes. So for instance, 1.2 hours becomes one hour and 12 minutes. You might be wondering, how does that happen? Um, well, we can talk about this point two here. So obviously this one, becomes this one over here, and the point 0.2, that is 0 0.2 of an hour. Well, how much is an hour? An hour is 60 minutes. 0 0.2 times by 60 gives us 12. So that 12 there becomes that 12 minutes here. So essentially on the left column, we're doing a divide by 60 to get into uh, a decimal amount of hours. And in the right hand column, we're essentially timesing by 60 so we can find out what the decimal amount of hours is in minutes. So you go ahead and do that. Um, pause the video now would be a really good time to pause. So you can do both of those columns and um, then I'll do the answers for you. All right. All right, we've got some answers for you here. So three hours and 45 minutes is 3.75 hours. Five hours and 40 minutes is 5.6 recurring. Um, it just looks like I'm a really sloppy writer, but there is actually a dot on top of that six, and that is a recurring number. Um, that's a really important part of this particular lesson is making sure you have that recurring symbol on top of the six, because 5.6 hours is very different than 5.6 recurring hours. Um, question D, you've got 0 0.3 recurring hours, 20 minutes is a third of an hour, uh, 2 hours and 24 minutes is 2.4 hours, and 1 hour and 6 minutes is 1.1 hour. Similarly, on column, the second column, you've got 2 hours and 24 minutes, 3 hours and 45 minutes, 4 hours and 30 minutes, because 4.5 is 4 and a half, so 4 and a half hours, um, 5 hours and 20 minutes, and one hour and 18 minutes. I actually think that this is the most difficult part of today's entire lesson. Um, after this, we're just going to use these numbers with what we did yesterday, all right? All right, example one. Anne drives the 210 kilometers in two hours and 30 minutes. Work out Anne's average speed. So just like yesterday, we've got 210 kilometers, which is the distance. We've got two hours and 30 minutes, which is the time. And they would like us to work out her speed. So let's think about the triangle. Speed is equal to distance over time. We're looking for speed. So speed is distance divided by time.
The distance is 210 kilometers and the time is 2 hours and 30 minutes. Okay, 2 hours and 30 minutes is 2 hours plus 30 minutes. So that is going to give us 2 hours and then on my calculator, I already know what the answer is going to be, but I'm going to check anyways. 30 divided by 60 is a half. So 2 hours, 2, and then, sorry, we've got 2.5 hours. So 2 hours and 30 minutes is the same as 2.5 hours. So that's what I'm going to have to put as the time because I want my answer in kilometers per hours. So 210 divided by 2.5 is 84. So her average speed is 84 kilometers per hour. All right. Most difficult part of this entire question is this whole part right here. Everything else is just what you did yesterday. Let's look at another example. A plane flies 1,375 kilometers in 2 hours and 45 minutes. Calculate the average speed in kilometers per hour of the plane. So similar to yesterday, we've got the distance, that's the kilometers. We've got 2 hours and 45 minutes, that's the time. And they want us to find the speed. So thinking of my triangle, speed is distance over time. All right, so speed is distance over time. The distance is 1,375. The time is 2 hours and 45 minutes. So I'm going to grab my trusty calculator. 45 divided by 60 is 3 quarters. Using the simple to difficult button, I get 0 0.75. So the time is actually 2.75 hours. All right, so we want to put that down here, 2.75. And then again, go back to your trusty calculator, 1,375 divided by 2.75 gives us 500 kilometers per hour. All right, so remember, the most complicated part, of I think, of this entire question is this step right here. Okay, you can't put hours and minutes into the bottom part of the fraction. You need to make sure you're just using a decimal. On first glance, this example, example two, doesn't look like it has anything to do with decimals at all. A man walks for 15 minutes at a speed of four miles per hour. How far has he traveled? All right, so we've got 15 minutes, that is time, um, and speed of four miles per hour. And they say how far, so that's the distance. They want us to find the distance. Okay, let's start that out. Speed is distance over time. So distance is going to be speed times by time. All right, well, the speed is four miles per hour. Ooh, miles per hour. This answer here is given in hours, and the time is actually given in minutes. So we need to make these two things the same. Minutes and hours are not the same. So the time is going to be 15 divided by 60. That's how we're going to turn it into hours. 15 divided by 60 is 1 quarter, which is 0 0.25. So the time is 0 0.25. So 4 times by 0 0.25 gives us 1. Distance of 1, and this is in miles. So 1 mile is how far he traveled. All right, let's try another one. All right, here we are on example three. I do really like these questions. Carl leaves his house at 9 a.m. He drives 90 miles at a speed of 40 miles per hour. At what time will he arrive at his destination? Love these kinds of questions. So this first sentence about Carl leaving his house, we're going to use in the last part of the question. He drives 90 miles, that's the distance, at a speed of 40 miles per hour, that is the speed, and we're looking for the time. So thinking of our triangle, speed is distance over time. We want to find the time, so time is distance over speed. The distance is 90 miles, and the speed is 40 miles per hour. All right, that gives us that. No decimals yet. 90 divided by 40 is 2.25. So this is time, that's 2.25 hours. How we, What are we going to do with that? How are we going to add that onto 9 a.m.? Ooh, okay, this looks just like the starter. Um, this is two hours, and then what are we going to do with the 0.25 of an hour? I think we're going to do 0 0.25 times by 60. So 0 0.25 times by 60 gives us 15 minutes. 
So it looks like it's going to take him 2.25 hours or 2 hours and 15 minutes. Now, if he leaves his house at 9 a.m., so 9 a.m. plus 2 hours plus 15 minutes, well, 9 a.m. plus 2 hours is going to give us 11 a.m., and that looks like 11.15 a.m. Love those kinds of exam questions. All right, I've got one more example for you, and then I'm done for today. All right, last example. How long does it take an airplane traveling at 300 kilometers per hour to travel a distance of 200 kilometers? Give your answer in minutes. So how long, that is the time, that's what we're looking for. Does it take an airplane traveling at 300 kilometers per hour? That's the speed to travel a distance of 200 kilometers. So we're looking, that's the distance there. So start out with our triangle. Speed is distance over time. Um, we're looking for the time. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. So the distance is 200 and the speed is 300. Now, when I divide those, I'm going to get 0 0.6 recurring. So 0 0.6 recurring hours. I know it's in hours because the speed was given in kilometers per hour. Now, the question says, give your answer in minutes. Now, this is in hours, so I'm going to have to do times by 60 in order to give it in minutes. So 0 0.6 recurring times by 60 gives us 40 minutes. And there you go, you've got the entire flight uh, time or the length of time that this particular part of the flight took. Um, make sure you put the recurring sign into your calculator when you do this, otherwise it is going to give you a very different answer. Alright, have a good day and let me know if you have any questions.